United Nations International Day uh, and to bring the wooden knotted gun here for the first time is something that really marks this day for us. It's such a good marriage between the sustainability of our pavilion, the forest at Expo 2020, and to bring a symbol of peace, probably the most iconic uh, symbol of peace in the world, to the Expo and made of wood. Again, a sustainability statement, sustainability and sustainable peace. Um, how did it come about? It would not have happened without the One uh, Voice Trust. Uh, it would not have happened without the Nonviolence um, Foundation, uh, who actually donated this fantastic sculpture to be here for the period of the Expo with us. So uh, it's a fantastic, um, let's say, um, different minds coming together in one. Uh, uh, and we are, as you might know, in the Swedish Pavilion, we are co-creating for innovation. And what we have done uh, together with our partners is actually to co-create the arrival of this symbol in Dubai. First time in the Middle East, first time in wood. But it's a dream coming true, uh, for sure. And uh, yeah, I'm bringing this sustainable uh, piece of uh, knotted gun, the peace symbol to, to Expo 2020 Dubai is, is unique. Yeah, no, it was created by the Swedish artist uh, called Fredrik Reitersvärd um, as a tribute to John Lennon when he died uh, in, in New York in 1980. Um, called Fredrik and John Lennon was good friends and, and uh, John uh, admired his, his art. So uh, when John was shot, uh, Yoko Ono contacted uh, Carl Fredrik and asked him to make uh, a tribute to John's life. No, it, it, it means a lot for us. I mean, we are, as you know, uh, outside the UN headquarters already and on a few other uh, places around the world. But uh, this for us is kind of a, a new start uh, uh, with, a, with a wooden gun. We have uh, initiated now digital programs to reach out even broader than we have uh, until today. And together with um, uh, Original Voice Trust, uh, we, we plan to broaden the footprint to, to work with not only violence per se, but also sustainability questions and diversity, etc. So we share a lot of, of, of um, values and uh, since we got together and, and uh, made this happen, we now, together with the Swedish Pavilion, have a plan going forward to broaden our footprint and to reach out to a much uh, broader audience around the world. We are more relevant into, I mean, we are not only dealing with physical violence, we, we also deal, which is a growing area, is the digital violence and amongst kids and the gaming society and, and esports, etc. Uh, especially girls are, are being treated and harassed uh, in a very, very serious way. And that's what we are uh, looking into now going forward. So uh, I, I think overall we have a better understanding of what we do and there is a need for what we do. Now, I, I think, I mean, if you haven't seen the gun before, I mean, it's quite obvious what it stands for. Uh, I hope that people will perhaps uh, dig in to, to uh, find out a little bit more about what we do, the Nonviolence Project Foundation, and not only what we have done so far, but also follow us uh, in the future with our new ventures and, and how we can you know, deal with this together. We, we, we need to have you know, people with us. So that's the main takeaway. And, and again, I mean, the exposure we get here is for us fantastic. And we are so pleased to, to the Expo and we are so pleased um, for, for the Swedish Pavilion to, to have us here, so. really 
pleased to be here on the UN Day. Um, it is a special day for us. It's a reminder of our humanity and how much further we can go together. Um, but it is also very special that we will be unveiling the wooden knotted gun. So thank you uh, for bringing this to us. And let me continue to deeply appreciate uh, the government and the people of Sweden in continuing Dag Hammarskjöld's uh, quest for peace. It is really important when you know the sacrifices that he made. Um, and so today, a special day for us, a knotted gun, um, a secretary general who um, really imbibed and, and demonstrated what it was and sacrificed uh, to, to, for peace. Sustainability is at the core of this, and that is the agenda of today. How do we make our world so much more sustainable so that future generations can enjoy it? And that's what we hope that we uh, can ensure they inherit. For 30 years, the original knotted gun sculpture has stood outside our UN headquarters. Its formal title, Nonviolence, evokes not only the UN Charter with its aim to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war, but also the broader objective of reducing violence in all its forms. And let me say, as we come out of the COVID pandemic, one of those biggest scourges has been gender-based violence. And I hope that we remember that every day when we say, do no harm, that we never raise a, a hand against a woman or a girl. Uh, you had quoted Kofi Annan, and we still have um, a prayer. And I would say the greatest, greatest prayer of humankind. At that time, he was talking about man, but let's talk about humankind today which asks not for victory, but really for peace. And we continue in that quest for phenomena. There are growing recognition now, as highlighted by Secretary General Antonio Guterres, that our common agenda report that not only large-scale violence, but also violence from criminal groups and interpersonal violence at home um, is a really central challenge of our time. How do we get back to the do no harm in every aspect of our life? Um, from violence to sustainability, do no harm to our forests, do no harm to our oceans, do no harm to our home. And so today, thank you for involving us on a very special day to the UN, of which you are all part, um, in a demonstration of what we still strive to do, and that's knock the gun and bring peace in its entirety to the world. Thank you.